so he claimed that he supplies big hotels kerosene i said excuse me brother i'm going to go on the main road right now so ada ke she moto yi bi mo se wa yi kin to la oju mi i was like ah. email address lele yi ko yi se website where is your website hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is dabi and i make all sorts of videos to be honest <laughs> but usually about london but today's video is all about yahoo boys because you know what i'm tired i'm tired of them i'm tired of only GBT being a normal profession in Nigeria. I, d I don't get it. I don't know who normalized it. And I have a bit of a story time for you guys Daisy about Jabba. how I may or may Jabba. not have dated a young boy by mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the story of how it happened, where I met him, what happened, how it went down. I'm going to let you guys in on all that um if you enjoyed today's video remember to click the like button and subscribe to see more of my content uh remember to check my instagram account out as well so you can just see what i'm getting up to during the week usually so this whole thing started on instagram he slid into my dms and i remember going to his profile i was like this boy isn't bad, you know. He's not. He's not bad. Let me, let me give him my number. Let me, let me just give him my number. So I gave him my number and we started talking and we really, really hit it off. To be honest, um, he was a really cool guy at least on the phone and I enjoyed talking to him. And then there was this one day when, I think I ran out of credit, like airtime, and like he called me back and asked like, what happened? Why did the phone go off? And I was like, I ran out of airtime. <laughs> And then, like, we continued talking. It was just a normal conversation. Then, I think over, like, an hour or so had passed after we, like, the conversation ended. And this boy sent me 15,000 Naira in credits, just randomly. And, like, I remember seeing it. And I was like, what the hell is going on here? And, like, I gave him a call, right, immediately. And he was like, yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. Like... I can't be talking to you and like not have you have credit on your phone like that's not right i was like ah, okay well, i can't complain about that me too i like free credit who doesn't like free credit <laughs> so there was this one time that i was in lagos right and i needed to go to ibado like the next day and the taxi person who was supposed to come pick me up cancelled like the night before and i was supposed to leave really early in the morning now Boys and girls, please do not be an idiot like me because I was very stupid. But anyway, I'd been talking to this boy for ages, right? And then he messaged me like saying like he was going to Ibadan as well the next day. I was like, I might as well just go with him, right? Like it's free. I get to meet him, two birds, one stone, that kind of thing. Problem number one, the story hasn't even really started, but problem number one, at 7 a.m. in front of someone's house, because I was staying with a friend, he started honking outside the person's gate, and ah, even me, I was like, ah, yela and I got outside, it was him that was supposed to come pick me. At that point, I was desperate, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get in this car, whatever, I got in. Do not do that. Don't get to a stranger's car. That is useless and stupid behavior. And like, yeah, that's me. After a while, he started talking about me and him dating since we've met now. I was so confused. I was so confused. I was like, but we just met like 30 minutes ago. Uh, what, what, what do you think has changed in 30 minutes? I, I don't know you. And he seemed to not understand what i was talking about because he came to pick me in a c class because he was like ah uh, that you've seen me now you've seen my ride you've seen that like i'm the real deal uh, something that can you can you do it in sono i was like what 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 at that point i already knew that i've entered one chance the car i entered is a one chance car i knew it 
So when we get into the restaurant, as we're sitting, waiting for the food to arrive, he comes and he's like, oh, what's this thing? I was like, this is an earring. Like, what do you mean? And he's like, yeah, I don't like it. If you're going to date me, I'm going to have to remove it. I was like, ah. Honey, my boy, you go okay. Moti, my boy, go okay. Go le okay. I was like, what do you mean? Is it your ear? He was like, don't worry. We'll sort it out soon. I was still there looking and confused. So after the whole airing thing, I was already very irritated. And like, to be honest, a part of me had been suspecting that, is this boy a yahoo boy? Is he legit? Because he was super, super nice on the phone, right? But the thing was, he was always available. I don't know how to explain it. If you call him in the afternoon or if he, he can call in the middle of the night. And it's like, when are you working? When exactly is your working hours? And like, he claims to be an entrepreneur. From what I know, people who own a business are even busier than everybody they employ. Because it's your money that's at stake. So you get tend to be very serious with that. And this boy just always living his best life every day flying up and down i decided you know what today is your day now that i've met you i'm going to actually figure out what it is that you said you do so he claimed that he supplies big hotels kerosene that's the business he does i was like what kind of hotels he was like four points intercontinental Hotels like that, really big ones, because actually they sell it at like a very large scale. Ah, I was like, kerosene. Ah, the king of his kidney, four points if you kerosene, she is there lantern day. Ah. It's like, okay, oh. and at that point, I was like, oh, like, so let me see, like, your business card. And then I saw the business card, it looked like a normal business card, and I saw the business card under websites what was there was email address ah. i was like ah. email address lele question website where is your website and he was like oh that's like my website like you don't really get how it works that because of security purposes the big companies they work with don't really want too many people to know their suppliers so that's why they put email address as a website Ah, that's the point where I knew only GBT, only yeah, yahoo yahoo. That's what you do. Because what kind of daft explanation is that? I was like, okay, okay, okay. Do you have any other businesses? He said, yeah, that he has, his family has a shop in Computer Village. They sell Apple products, but not iPhone and not macbooks but they only sell like apple products ah in my head i was thinking that's wheelbarrow because i automatically wheelbarrow here that's what i know they sell accessories i've not seen a very big shop in computer village that all they sell is accessories except you're selling it wholesale and i don't it, it can't be only apple that makes no sense in nigeria it's like there hey, that's your second business is there a third one he said no that's all it's like okay that's, that's really nice. Cool. I don't know what kind of patience I had that day. I was just looking at him. I was just looking at like, this is a madman and I just don't want to disgrace you because I will disgrace you and disgrace myself, disgrace everybody here because you're obviously mad. And the only way to handle a mad person is to be madder than a mad person. I'm sorry. That's, that is my sincere opinion. When he started looking at my earrings again, I was like, what? What do you want? He was like, it's not real gold, is it? I was like, no, it's not. It's costume jewelry. What do you want from me? Is it your business? And he was like, don't worry. When I start dating you, I'm going to fix you up. All these, like, costume, costume things you're wearing. Uh, don't worry. It will all be gold. I'll replace it for you. Ah, wearing that. She, money, ebien, babi. Or, money, yan, jami, nibiti, motin, bo. Because of free ride, because of ordinary free ride, I'm the stupid person that put myself in that position. Yes, because nobody forced my two legs inside the car in the first place. At that point, I knew that. Okay, thank you, Mio Shetma, but that only GBC. 
border only. I want my bag. I'm going. I was like, can I go and get my bag from the car, please? I actually have somewhere to be. I'm going to take Okada there because I'm tired of you. And he, I think he thought I was still joking until I stood up and said, I will start to shout here now if you don't open that car. We got to the car. After I've already done small way for him, just small, you would think that he would want to behave, but no, 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 no sense. Next thing he was like, oh, before you get your bag, you're going to have to kiss me. I said, what? Eh? You just finished insulting me, insulting the waiter. You've confessed with style that you are only GBT. Oh, Nishegi the lomo. You are not telling me you want to kiss me to kiss you to get my own bag. My bag. I said, excuse me, brother. I'm going to go on the main road right now. So she moto me. And then he started insulting me and calling me the B word, calling me be, 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 be. Mm, thank you. Only GBT. Give me my bag. And then I took my bag and I took the next Okada on my way. That whole Yahoo thing, I'm actually tired of it because you see all these boys out here that look like normal people who have a nine to five and go to work in, during the day and like, but when you ask them, what do you do, sir? That is usually, that is where they get exposed. Is either I'm into oil and gas. What can, is that a profession? Is oil and gas a profession? Or business, excuse me, a real business who Please be more specific. If you cannot pinpoint your business, you're only GBT. Thank you. Or my favorite, this is my favorite excuse when you ask them, what do you do? Well, I just do one or two things. One or two things here and there. That's, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video and remember to click the like button if you enjoyed it. If you've actually experienced any Yahoo boy or anything like that, please Drop it down in the comment section because I love hearing those stories. Not the one that you follow the old boy and you're not married though. Please keep that story to yourself. But <laughs> see you in the next one.